This video uh, will demonstrate how you start a, an Express PCB project from beginning to the end using this practice project that you see on the screen over here on the left. Here's the schematic on the left, up on the top, and down here is a layout. That's where those uh, components um, are going to be placed. That's how they're going to be placed on the circuit board. And over here on the right hand side, we have our circuit board, our PC board. So let's begin. The first thing to do is to go into your uh, components menu here. <coughs> and then let's begin with the, the first connector here, the two pin connector. So I'm going to search for connector. And then it comes up with um, the list of the first encounter of connectors and I'm gonna keep going down until I find the uh, Molex 2-pin connector. Click on that. Uh, it doesn't look like the one I have here so I'm gonna keep looking, keep going down until I find the second type of uh, Molex connector. This is the one I want. I'm going to insert into my, this into my board. I'll pick it up and place it over here on the left hand side, having in mind the layout that I have down here. Then I'm going to look for resistors. So I'll go into my uh, component manager and I'm going to type in resistor. And then the first resistor that uh, it finds is the 125 25 milliwatts or quarter watt resistor and the lead spacing is a quarter inch in other words between this lead and that lead um, quarter inch <coughs> so I will select that one and no, notice for R1 and R2 they have the same footprint and the orientation is horizontal so while I have it selected I'm going to click here on my rotate and right now I have rotated R1 to match my uh, the orientation, the desired orient orientation. While I have it connected, I can do a control C to copy it on the clipboard, control V and paste. So here is my second resistor, this is going to be my R2. So I have placed R1 and R2 will uh, label them and number them later on. The next thing is to place the, resi the transistor footprint. So I'll go into my manager and I'm going to find <coughs> the uh, transistor TO92 footprint. Let's see if we can find it. It says you cannot find specific part. So what I need to do is uh, scroll down and see how the TO92 transistor footprint is labeled and once I find it then I'll be able to place it into my schematic. So keep going down and here we go. <coughs> Semiconductor TO92 insert into the schematic um, notice the way I have Q1 here, I would like the flat side to be on the bottom side. So I'm going to click here and rotate it. So there's my Q1. Then the last component that I need is the LED. So I'll click on LED, LED. And here is my LED. And um, no, notice this is the cathode, this is the negative side of the LED, and this is the anode. Um, <coughs> so let's keep, um, let's not worry about the size of the board for now. <coughs> this is a huge board. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a huge board. It could have been um, reduced to a much smaller board, but let's not worry about it for now. Um, so the question is now, how do we connect this? 
we have to refer to the schematic diagram up on the top. And um, if we look at the schematic diagram, first of all, um, this right here is the negative of the connector, and over here we have the positive on the top. So I'm going to click on the connector and I'm going to rotate that so that I have the negative on the bottom, positive on the top. Then, uh, let's begin with connecting this resistor, this resistor R1, to the negative of the connector, and then the other side of the resistor to the transistor. Um, before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, label our parts. So this is going to be J1 for the connector. Is going to be R1 for the resistor. Notice because the resistor was rotated, um, the um, part reference designator was rotated too. I can just click on the part on the reference designator and I can rotate it by itself. Leave it here for now, and we'll, we'll rotate. <coughs> we'll rotate this later. Go to R2. This is going to be R2. Just move it down. This is Q1. My transistor. And over here, this is going to be D1. My LED. Now. This is the um, emitter base collector. So what I need to do, if I look carefully, the uh, this resistor R1 connects into the base. This is the base of the transistor. So the base is the middle point here. So I'm going to connect this side of the resistor to the base. and. Since this is a single layer port, I'm going to go and do all of those connections on the second layer. So the first thing to do is to select the place trace command, and then I need to go and select the second layer, bottom layer. And now I'm going to start from R1, the side of R1, and connect to the base of the transistor, which is the middle. So I'll go from here. What I need to do, it didn't connect, and the reason it didn't connect, I need to right click, go onto my selection command, and delete it. The reason it didn't connect is because I have my snap to 50 mils down here. I need to change the snap to 25 mils. And um, go back again, use the uh, place trace. I'm on the second layer. From here, there, onto the base. So I have made that connection. I have connected that wire so far. Next thing to do is to connect the other side of the of R1 to the positive of the connector. So this is the other side of R1, and I'll go out and up, and then from here I'm going to go to the positive of my power connector. Right click to stop drawing wires and drawing um, um, traces on the, on the board. So I have connected R1 to the transistor and to the circuit board. Let's continue with R2 now. R2, one side of R2 connects to the collector of the transistor. Well, the collector of the transistor is right here. So I can go from R2 from uh, the collector to R2. From the other side of R2, I need to go to the cathode. Okay, the cathode is right right here. So I can go from here to the cathode, and um, okay. I'm going to go now from the 
other side of the cathode of the diode, the anode, to the positive of the of the um, connector. So I'll go from here out. Now I have made this connection from the positive of the uh, diode, the anode, to the positive of the uh, connector. Oh, the positive side is up on the top. I'm sorry, uh, I made a mistake. So what I need to do, this is the negative down here. This is the positive. So I need to go and delete this. command and I need to go from here I can come from here straight down to the positive ok, I took care of that now, what do we do with this negative? the negative goes into the emitter and the emitter is this lead right here so I'm gonna go from the negative down to the So, that's it. This is how you wire your circuit. And um, when you finish, if you need to make some changes, for example, D1, if I want to move it a little bit to the left or to the right, I can pick it up. And then I move it, and, and all of the traces move along, along with it. As long as, sh as make sure that nothing is, uh, is uh, shorted out, then this is fine. So uh, I can make any changes, make any movements to make sure that the layout matches the intended layout. Um, let me show you how you can actually save some board space here now and make this smaller. I can select my entire schematic, my entire uh, layout, and then I'm going to move it up closer to the corner. And then I'm going to make so I don't waste um, material just move it until it's horizontal and then I'm going to change this dimension here to Now I have a nice rectangular board. I have my my circuit in the middle. The last thing I need to do, which um, if I had resized the board earlier, I should have done um, at the outset, is to place these four holes. For those holes, I'm going to go and select um, a pad, and then I will click up here and select the with the largest hole that I can find. Uh, so here is a pad which has <coughs> the hole is 100 thousandths of an inch and the outside diameter of the annular ring is 200 thousandths of an inch. So let's select that and place one right here. Um, I'm going to place another one here, one here and one there. Um, now what you need to do is come down here to the snap, change your snap to 50 mils. 50 thousands one inch, 50 mils, not 50 millimeters. And then I'm going to pick up this and then move it so that it snaps. Oops. So what I need to do, I was in the mode of placing. Um, placing so I need to delete 
this delete this delete that now I'm gonna move this and move it so that I have enough space on the bolt on both sides of the bolt so that when this is drilled it won't break the bolt same thing here the same thing on this side so you make sure that the distance from each edge on the board is such that the four holes are symmetrical and um, it's not too close to the board running the risk of breaking the board so this is our board I can uh, right now we have all of the views enabled we can see the silk screen and the top layer and bottom layer let's turn one of la layer at a time off and see what happens I'm gonna turn the silk screen off this shows me the top layer and bottom layer I'm gonna take the top layer off which took the annular rings in the top layer and this is the bottom layer so this is actually the mask this is the foil of the bottom layer so this is your first um, design and uh, this will enable you to um, learn the basic skills so you can continue on with your first project.